All right, <clears throat> try it again, YouTube, Twitch. I know you guys are live right now. Insta usually gets the full video. Cool. Oh, wow, Facebook's slow. Bear with me, Instagram. I got to try to get whatever's going wrong here. Save the key. It's like if it's not one, it's the other. Let's see, start. Come on, Facebook. Yeah, I just got trying to stream across multiple right now. So, all right, cool. I think Facebook's working now. Awesome. I'll get started and then kind of catch up. So, had some daily quotes today. Hope everyone's doing well. Uh, the quote right now is actually from. Bear with me. I find my Chat GPT. This one's coming from Victor Hugo, and it goes: "Even the darkest night will end, and the sun will rise." So that's kind of the theme I got right here. I don't know, I'm not really in a dark place, but it'll probably make more sense as we get into it. Um, oh. Actually, I turned my volume on. Uh, yeah, we're doing well so far. But yeah, so hope everyone's doing well. Thanks for the support. You know, thanks for dealing with some of my like awkward videos and stuff like that. I'm going to kind of multitask and see if I can fix. Uh, it's a little sharp on my face, cutting some stuff off, like my hair. All right, that looks a little better. Go with that, and then also gonna just fix the fuzziness. Sometimes they like to autofocus, and it's just not as good. Let's get rid of that. Cool, awesome. So yeah, day was busy. Uh, I really only got like my first five things done. There was a couple things that slipped in there. Um, I actually did get to uh, call uh, one of the people that as uh, the listing agent for this like two hundred thirty thousand dollar property that I'm interested in myself. Also, like another buyer that's possibly interested in. I just haven't seen it yet, so it was almost on market. Now it's off market. It was good that I was kind of the squeaky wheel there. Um, so, you know, they were almost under contract and I reached out again. He was like, oh yeah, I meant to text you back. So that could be the difference of uh, making money or not making money, uh, you know, and having that great opportunity. So pumped about that. Like I said, I did a lot, but still have a lot of my list left. That's fine. You know, I think if you bite off uh, big chunks, uh, it's better. Like even if you get half of the stuff done, if you shoot for the stars, you know, you'll end up on the moon or, you know, what do they say? Shoot for the moon and end up in the stars. But yeah, so I was really pumped. I cleaned my whole house finally, which really hadn't done since I moved in. So my house is like squeaky clean. Uh, maybe besides the office I'm in, just because you have like a green screen up and stuff like that. It looks a little messier, but yeah, all the dishes done, all the clothes uh, folded, put away. Bought some hangers. I do have to do a couple more like hanging things. I might even have to rewash them because, you know, things get kind of uh, wrinkled if you don't have them on hangers. That should be. But yeah, so the list is incomplete. But, you know, it's not a bad thing, right? Like, I took a lot on. I'm really happy with the results today. Have a few more things I want to do maybe later tonight when I get back. But I'm just trying to take a little break. Need to get out of the house right now. Um, you know, debating, like, kind of stopping by Neil and Pam's, one of the, the sister company to where I got hired. And then maybe even checking out, like, Wahoo's down in Merle's Inlet. Not really trying to stay out late. Just trying to, like, pop in, see if I know anyone um, and see how it goes. Tomorrow, pretty big day. We got church at 9.30 till about 10.30, and I'll have to head out there pretty quick because I'm going to an open house from 11 to 1. You've probably seen those videos. I'm excited. I feel like it's going to sell, so I want to be there to find the buyer, get the sale. Even if I don't get the buyer, just feel good to – or sorry, even if I don't get the buyer myself under contract, it will be huge just to like get that sold, help my relationship with the realtor who's listing it. Uh, always good there. So, yeah, and then after that, we got the Super Bowl. So, Super Bowl will be cool. Um, gonna chill with my dad a little bit. Might not make it the first or you know first quarter, and maybe just like head over late. I'm not like die hard to see the game. Uh, around here, it's a little bit difficult to get seats. There's a lot of like happy hour deals, uh, people like reserving seats early and stuff like that. So, um, yeah. Let's see, this is like in the way. It's like looking at the other camera. But yeah. So, anyways, um, excited for Super Bowl Sunday. I don't really care who wins. Almost want 49ers to win just so that like. Mahomes doesn't, you know, he already lost one to Brady anyways, but uh, I don't know. I don't want him to win too many too soon. That's kind of the Patriot fan in me. But uh, yeah, so yesterday at the single uh, AF event, it was pretty good. It actually went really well. Got kind of a funny story I'll try to get into quickly. Yeah, nice. We're doing well for time. So basically there was this guy, not going to drop any names, but he's a little bit shy. And uh, me and one of my other buddies, like, you know, I just met them recently kind of at an open house, actually at the same location I'm going to. They go to the same church as me. And so, um, you know, always open to, to hang out and, you know, meet new people and stuff like that. 
always could use some wingmen. A lot of my friends down here kind of have uh, wives, kids. Uh, other ones have jobs that are kind of bartending, so they you know can't always make it out. So it was great. Like had two roll dogs to head uh, to head to this place. They were both single, so it was good. Like wingmen. Uh, one of them pretty quiet, which is always a great wingman when, you know, the person doesn't talk too much and fumble the bag. And the other guy talks like a good amount, uh, but he's like pretty opening, welcoming, uh, funny overall guy. So it was it was a good uh, experience. The funny thing about it was right away, the shy guy, you know, he's a big muscular guy. He's a lot younger looking than he is, he's like 40 years old. But this girl comes up to him. She's like, what's your name? He's like, oh, I'm Jeff, like pretty quiet. She instantly basically just like latches on. Um, they ended up going home together. I can kind of go into that story a little bit more, uh, which was funny. And um, yeah, it was like while we were there, then we actually met her friend, which was, she was a nice lady. Um, you know, I, I have interest. I would love to take her on dates, not really like forcing anything. She's a little bit older, so it's probably not the perfect match, but uh, just good getting confidence boosted and stuff like that. Uh, I'll finish the story about this quiet kid first, and then I'll circle back to like my night, how it went. But uh, essentially we, I was like, oh, hey, you know, to the guy who talks a lot, I was like, hey, if you hear about what happened to the quiet guy, uh, let me know. Not that I want, like, all the details, but one, I want to make sure he's okay. And two, I just was like, you know, if something funny happens, because uh, this lady was blitz. Like, at one moment, she was kind of, like, trying to get with me. And I'm just like, no, no, you know, I'm not going to say his name. Let's call him Jerry. I'm like, Jerry's a good dude. Like, you should hang out with Jerry, you know. Like, I just wasn't really interested, but it was flattering. Um, always take a confidence boost when I can. And then fast forward. The next day, um, the girl that I was talking to, she actually texted me kind of a screenshot from the person he took home. And she's like, dude's a total freak. Like, was telling me about OnlyFans and how he wants to videotape me. And then they went to a place called The Masters, which is a strip club. And I'm just like, I wouldn't have guessed it. But then when I hear it, I'm like, yeah, I could probably see that. Like, that's not that far-fetched to me. So that was funny. And, like, I kind of believe her. But then it's funny because... Through the other guy that we're, you know, my mutual friend that knows him, Jerry, um, he basically said like, oh yeah, they went home and they, you know, did the, did the dirty work like we all assumed, but uh, that was basically it. I guess he said like his dog had went to the bathroom in his bedroom, so they like were out in the living room. I don't know. Kind of funny in general um, that there's very two different stories. You know, I don't think he's even friends with me on Facebook. I'm like, kind of sounds like he could be a serial killer. I'm like, was he trying to kill this other guy? And I, like, interrupted. I'm a little nervous because I'm like, that's pretty weird to, like, try to get an OnlyFans and then take someone to a strip club. Not sure if maybe he was just so nervous to, you know, do the dirty that uh, he was trying to, like, come off as, like, Mr. Cool, Rico Suave. I don't know, right? Uh, basically, I, I believe the girl more than I believe him because there's no reason for her to lie. Um, but who knows, you know, so kind of an up in the air story, pretty funny. This guy's like trying to do his only fans. I would have never guessed it, but after the fact, like I said, you're like, yeah, it could be. So anyways, like we kind of had a weird trio going between me, my talkative buddy and this beautiful kind of like, you know, not older lady. She's not that old. Like she's in her forties, but, um, we didn't really know who she liked more. Like I got the vibe. She's kind of into me. Could have been into him at times. Um, it made more sense. Like for me, just cause I'm down here, I'm local. But also, like, it doesn't make sense. Oh, I just, like, bit my tongue. Because she has, like, kids already and she's a little bit older. Like, if I do want kids, which I'm, like, still 50-50 about, it just wouldn't make sense. And, like, I don't necessarily want to be with someone that's, like, really older. Um, but I do find, like, my maturity level, it probably makes more sense to go at least a year or two older anyways. Some of those younger girls, you know, they're just still in the party scene. I like going out and having fun. But, like, I'm not even drinking right now. I'm not really doing drugs. So the last thing I want is, like, a total, you know, someone that gets lost in the sauce. Nothing wrong with that. You know, they can always change and stuff like that, but I'm just not really attracted to that uh, per se anymore. So the funny thing that happened though was this bigger girl, which I'm fine with bigger girls, but she wasn't really my type. I actually think at one point we matched because I used to swipe like crazy on Bumble, but I didn't recognize that until I talked to her for a few minutes. So she's like, hey, are you like together? Talking about me and the girl. And I'm like, I'm not trying to like be creepy. Like I want to be like, oh yeah, I'm talking to this girl. I'm not interested in you, but I'm just a nice guy. So then I go, I'm like, oh, yeah, whatever, I'll, I'll go. And she's like, oh, my friend thinks you're cute. And I'm like, all right, thinking, like, maybe your friend's cute too. Like, let me at least see. You never know when in Rome could be a better fit. So then we get about, like, 20 feet away from the group that I'm with. And I should have just been like, let's talk right here or bring your friend over next time. You know, hindsight, you live to learn. But she's just like, oh, yeah, I'm my friend. Ha, ha, ha. And I'm just like, oh, I'm like, you got me. But, uh, yeah. And then, like, she, she was like, are you shy? Because I wasn't talking a lot. And I'm not going to lie, I just wasn't interested in her. That I was, like, trying to think of, like, how to get away. 
Um, luckily, she ends up saying, oh, like, is that your friend? Is he single? One of my friends thinks he's cute. I'm like, bring him over. Let's, let's go back to the combo. So I kind of like got back to the combo there. They ended up having like a good little posse. I thought actually one of the cuter girls was the one that was into him, but they never like said like, oh, I'm the one that likes you. He thought it was someone else, so he wasn't really like too, too interested. Uh, but at the end of the day, the girl that I was kind of hitting it off with, got her Facebook, got her number. We texted a little bit, hoping to like definitely see her at some point. There was a chance we'd meet up tonight, but uh, she never really got back to me, which is fine. Like teach their own. I'm actually going out. You know, I texted her being like, hey, these are the places I'm going. If it works out, it works out. Otherwise, I'm just going to check out the scene. Kind of got a little bit of confidence back, which is good. All right, so we're right about 10 minutes, which is uh, I'm always trying to be less. But, yeah, I think the lesson learned is, like, I, I really do feel like I'm finally over my ex. Uh, it took way too long. Like, we've been broken up basically two years now. Um, for the first year of being broken up, we did talk a lot. Until I really moved down here, it wasn't really like we fully severed ties. Uh, I'm not sure if she's even dated people. She could just be dishonest, but she's always said she hasn't dated people. I've seen a few other people, nothing serious, but I was always just like thinking of her and just being like, oh, you know, that was something we had. And it was kind of like, a, I was remembering the good parts, but not the real parts or not the bad parts and stuff. So I'm finally at a place where like, I pray for her. I hope nothing but the best for her. Uh, yeah, I am dude. You know, I dude. I'm like open book. Honestly, like I'm probably the most honest person you'll ever meet in general. Like I just, I have no reason to lie. It's too difficult to lie, to be completely honest. Um, keeping track of all those and stuff. You have to like write down notes. Um, I'm not, you know, I don't want to give too much details away. One of these, someone I've met recently, I think they're kind of a big liar. They're kind of like a one upper and I'm not, I'm just like letting them tell his stories. I'm like, I don't know if this is all true, but I'm like, whatever. You know what I mean? Like it's, he's having a good time telling it. It gives him satisfaction having someone believe him. And I'm like, you know, whatever like everything i said i'm like oh that's so cool that's so cool just letting him be him but uh yeah honesty is key so gone over the x which is awesome you know definitely wish her nothing but the best uh if she ever watches which i don't think she watches it really i'm praying for her still hope that she finds happiness i hope that she finds someone who treats her right um i was not always perfect by any means and i think part of it was my drinking definitely my smoking getting in the way so i myself feel like i'm almost at that spot that i want to be at uh which is important and, uh, yeah, so what I want to talk about is, like, that girl I met, I don't think she's, like, Mrs. Right or whatever you'd call it. Like, I don't think we're the right fit. I'd love to, like, you know, explore and see where it goes. But ultimately, it was a good confidence boost, which is always important. You know, got to, like, feed in the confidence. Um, yeah, so we'll see how that goes. I'm actually now just kind of open to new things. Going back to the girl that um, pulled me aside with her little trickery. She got my number down. I'm just like, you know me, I'm trying to get followers. So like, maybe it was a little bit selfish, but I'm like, I don't see why we can't, you know, be on Instagram or whatever like that. Um, she's like, if I got your number, like, what are you doing later? I'm like, oh, I'm probably just going to bed. She's like, if I text you later, is that okay? I'm like, I, yeah, I don't know. I didn't want to like tell her anything mean, but so she texts me last night, like one and I'm there and I'm just like the old me, you know, just being a guy, like easy, whatever, no strings attached. I could have maybe like hit her. I'm just like, I don't want that. I have no interest in like the one night stands, even friends with benefits. Like it would have to be the right person. Um, so yeah, I just kind of ghosted her last night. And then this morning I text her back. Cause I'm like, it's not nice for her to like have her feelings let on or anything like that. And I'm just like, Hey, you know, I'm not looking for this, not looking for that. You know, hope we can be friends. You, you know, your crew seemed pretty cool. Maybe we'll link up one time. Cause that's it. Like I, it seems like she had cool friends. I'm always down to meet people. I'm a fun guy. Um, they were even talking about coming to stand up. So I'm like, not gonna, you know, knock people who want to be fans. Uh, but yeah, so that was cool. I kind of was honest, which is always good too. And like, not saying like, oh, it feels good to reject someone, but like, there is a confidence boost when like you're able to uh, not necessarily like go below your standards or anything like that. First time in my life, I actually have like real standards going, uh, which, you know, I'm happy for. Then uh, something I want to bring up before I kind of end things is this is like a total, I don't even know why I bring it up, but I'm just like, there's this one girl from my past I always think about and I'm always like, oh man, we would have been so good together, but we've really never had the right timing. One of us either dating someone or we're just like geologically not in the right place, like not close enough to date. Totally right now is geologically makes no sense, but uh, I don't know, something about me is just like, there's there's some connection there so we'll see how it goes i even think like i like the way that this person or you know she is and like her mindset and so i'm like that's part of the reason i'm doing these stand-ups 
and these like plays and stuff. I just feel like that's where you would meet someone like that. So definitely not being like a stalker and like, you know, trying to hope for something that won't be, but just being like, hmm, like, you know, where's, where's someone like that, you know, exists. Cause it's like, I'm not necessarily like in love with the person. It's more like the personality. Um, you know, it could be anyone with that type of personality and I probably, you know, fall head over heels. So anyways, I'm not looking for love by any means, but just open to it, I guess. And I think all in the past, I was really like not over my ex fully. And so, uh, yeah, it's, you know, declared out there. I hope all of you guys, uh, have a great night. I hope you have a great day. I hope I haven't annoyed you too much. Uh, maybe something I've said here could be helpful. If you're holding on to a relationship, take your time. It's not easy. Uh, like I said, it took me two years to really get there. And that's just because I was so in love, right? Like there was such a deep love there um, that it was hard to get over. But it will happen. Keep just doing the right things. You know, meditate. Uh, you know, soul search. Look within. And it'll all work out. Really appreciate it, Max. Shout out to you for always coming out and, and contributing. Really appreciate it. And uh, anyone in the South Shore, I forget the name right now of the gym, but if you need a gym, I think it's in Marshfield. You should definitely hit up my man, Max. You'll probably get ripped. If I was up there, I'd be doing it, getting yoked. But uh, hope you all have a great night. And uh, yeah, I'll talk to you guys again soon. All right, Facebook, see you later.